Uh, welcome to turn six of uh, GMT's Holland 44 Operation Market Garden short game playthrough. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start with a correction because I forgot to do one of the German combat and nothing's really happened since that point so I'm going to actually complete it now before we actually get into turn six. So that was uh, this attack here onto this uh, parachute breakdown unit of the 101st. Uh, from these two units here, <clears throat> which is a five to two, um, which comes out as a two to one. So we'll just do that combat. Two on two to one uh, gives us an engage result. So that kind of fixes the unit into place. Um, going to have trouble moving. Okay, so on to uh, turn six. So this is a, a morning turn. Um, we uh, have to roll for weather first thing for the entire day and uh, this particular day the weather table modifier is actually plus two. Um, that's, uh, that's very bad and so uh, it's not likely to be certainly uh, in the morning very good and uh, could be bad the entire day. Anyway, let's do that roll with a plus two on the dice. Well, there we go, we get a five, so that comes up to a uh, six, which is overcast both turns. Now, overcast means there is absolutely no air landing or air points available, and as both uh, AM and PM are included in that, so the entire turn has no air landing and no air points. <clears throat> so, uh, the guys on the border on their own. Uh, that being done, we have the artillery resupply phase, and of course, seeing as there's nothing flying, so therefore the first airborne um, artillery unit isn't resupplied either. Uh, and then uh, we've got our standard two um, for uh, the um, British relief column, and uh, I think we will do that with um, the guards armoured and the Agra Brigade Artillery um, there as well. So we've got it all available in the middle here. Um, <clears throat> so that's the artillery resupply. Bridge phase, um, we have a bridge that can be fixed here um, completely. So that's now available, although not greatly important. Um, now we also have uh, no German unit within this section here so therefore there's this proximity for this bridge um, of German units, five hexes, means that uh, we can start to repair that one as well. Again not entirely a big deal. Um, there aren't really anything elsewhere to uh, repair um, for the Allies. So that's the end of the bridge phase. Air landing phase is entirely skipped because of the weather, so we're actually on to the movement phase. Uh, so certainly uh, the Allies really have to do something about Eindhoven here. It's uh, it's not good. It's not looking good. It's, it's forcing uh, massive delays. Uh, we've got traffic markers all over the place as well. Um, so yeah, um, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I think all the airborne divisions are now need to be really careful here, position themselves really, really well. Um, it's going to be difficult for them to attack. They're halved in attack now because of the lack of supply. But anyway, um, we'll get the movement sorted and uh, then I'll recap as normal. That's the uh, movement done. Uh, we've moved to practically surround the... Uh, Flak emplacement in Eindhoven here. We're going to do a, an attack here. Um, we're also going to do attack on uh, this town here, uh, Geldrop, uh, with the 11th Armoured, and uh, with the thir uh, the 50th, um, along with the 11th Armoured Cromwell unit, follow up on this unit here uh, that we attacked last turn. Um, so uh, down at the bottom here, 
we don't have any uh, German units here and next turn that actually becomes an allied um, uh, entry area so the Germans aren't allowed in it so um, yeah so uh, I think we're moving up to 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 uh, encompass uh, that same thing happened at the top but there is all apologies for that there is a uh, unit there um, and uh, so therefore we, we we need to keep keep a, a cordon there for this turn at least then next turn we can uh, we can live without that um, so yeah, that's uh, that's all the movement done there and prep for the attacks. And the 101st, we're just uh, still consolidating here. Um, move the glider unit into here. Um, it's a vague attempt to, to out of supply the uh, units in Eindhoven, although it won't matter too much. But it also stops any reinforcement um, from happening. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's probably cut off now. Um, yeah, so 101st just consolidating there, making sure there's no gaps to deal with. Um, with the 82nd, um, they could really do with some reinforcement here. So um, we've pulled back from the drop zone. Um, I don't think there's any, any really worth uh, fighting for it now. Um, we got a we got a wave in the result last turn. Uh, I don't think with uh, some more reinforcements coming in. Um, that that will hold and I'd rather prefer, preserve the step and in Arnhem we've um, pulled back here um, a couple of things I've done uh, this this hex I did have a unit in but um, there's a Zop bond here so therefore I don't really need that unit there and that gives an opportunity to attack so I've moved him back uh, and I've moved the artillery and the um, depleted supply head actually into it, Osterbeck now. Um, and it's, it's consolidated here as well. Uh, and here I've done a kind of a swap um, because there's infiltration possibilities here. So um, the units that were here are now here and the units were here now there. Now the two units were actually the seventh King's own Scottish borderers, I believe, uh, the green. Now these two units, um, they're actually part battalions so combined they're actually one unit for stacking uh, which means I can actually stack another unit in there as well uh, this is the glider units of the uh, first airborne so um, similar things with with the other glider troops on, on the American side so we actually get an extra unit in the hex so uh, and maybe possibly next turn we might infiltrate that into there so we can get three units onto the bridge um, yeah, that, that might be a try so yeah it's um it's starting to shrink um on the british side there as well uh yeah that's uh, that's really it so on to the combat phase right i'll do these combats and then i will uh I'll recap as usual right so at last those pesky 88s are done with um we did a five to one attack uh, on it a three to one plus two artillery shifts and we rolled a six which is the fender shattered um, and uh, because the retreat is mandatory and there were Zocks everywhere it um, it meant that um, they uh, couldn't survive and so both steps were removed um, and uh, we got a breakthrough combat uh, which this uh, these two units did moved in and do a breakthrough combat against that other unit there it was only a two sorry three to one uh, rolled a two which was an exchange so uh, that un the German unit was removed, but uh, we ended up with a flip tank unit um, while doing it. But right, the uh, Allies are through um, Eindhoven. Uh, we we're able to do um, bonus advance up here with the Welsh Guards uh, right up to the canal, and uh, yeah, we've got uh, just this uh, this unit holding, and uh, he's uh, he's in a bit of trouble as well. Uh, we had uh, the combat up here, which was a five to one, um, which uh, was uh, uh, a five. We rolled uh, a D1, so this unit was uh, removed, and um, we had a normal advance here uh, for the 50th and their accompanying tanks. 
Uh, down here uh, in Gale Drop, uh, we had a 4 to 1 uh, with the tank shift. Rolled a 6, which is a D1. Again, um, the SS unit, um, Segler, has, uh, has lost as well. So, um, quite a few losses here this turn. Five units coming off and um, clarifying the board somewhat for uh, for the Allied Relief Column. Uh, and uh, right, we've uh, we've got the canal canals to deal with now. And uh, well, let's see. We we seem to be starting to have some fairly um, fairly chunky reinforcements coming in, particularly from the south. So um, Germans will still have some say over here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, finally the column is on the move again. Uh, there were no other combats anywhere else, so uh, just uh, time for recovery phase, um, which uh, for, for the Allies, which uh, over uh, here will result in a removal of a disruption here. Um, a roll for the disruption again. Um, which is a three or above. It's a four, so that disruption is removed. Remember, there's a plus one for the uh, elite unit status. Um, and we've got, uh, I think we've got everything. Oh, yes, we've got a, a uh, disruption removal here at uh, first airborne, which is automatic uh, there. And that's the Allied turn on a uh, overcast morning. And uh, right, we'll, um, uh, we'll check out the supply. Um, I think it was as before. So I think what was out of supply is still out of supply um, because of the canal. Um, yeah, there's no change there. And uh, we've seen fairly okay with uh, the rest of 30 core as well. So, um, yeah, it's on to the German turn. First phase of the artillery resupply phase for the Germans. Um, I've resupplied the uh, uh, SS, 10th SS artillery unit. Um, and I've also, uh, the one to the north of uh, 101st here, I've uh, flipped this guy up, uh, part of uh, 59th Division. Uh, artillery. Um, you can only do two as the Germans unless it's night in which case you can do all of them and uh, the unused one is 406 here. Um, the 406 will get to move up anyway um, so I'm quite happy not to have the artillery for a turn. Um, I think the other two are more important and more critical so uh, that's the resupply phase. So bridge phase here um, we uh, we did um, actually have a bridge blown during advance after combat. Uh, this one was blown. Um, I'm not sure we have any others to do around here because there's you know, don't have the proximity of the Allied units to do that. Uh, no. So uh, what's blown is blown, with the exception, of course, of uh, this one here. But again, I still think. It's worth, worth keeping open. Um, so that's the bridge phase as well. So down to the movement phase. So I'll move the uh, German uh, German units. Uh, just something to remark here is we start to get units from the 107th Panzer Brigade here. So this is a uh, Panther Battalion. Uh, part of a Panther Battalion. Um, with a four armor rating, so that's going to outgun the Allied tanks, and it's a yeah, very strong unit, um, along with some um, some mechanized infantry as well. So uh, that's the vanguard of some pretty decent German units coming on down the board here. Um, yeah, uh, and there's a smattering of others. Uh, we have another tank unit up in. Um, up near Arnhem um, to come in as well. So uh, yeah, that, this is a Stug battalion. Uh, yep, independent Stug. Actually, brigade actually. Must be a very small brigade, but um, they're all useful up there now. 
So uh, yeah, I'll do the movement and then uh, we'll run through it. Uh, German movement completed. Um, of course, can't do very much around Eindhoven. I've decided to leave this guy for annoyance value, just to sit there. He'll be out of supply, but he'll still slightly interfere with what's going on. Uh, we've moved down a little bit from uh, from the north, and we're going to do an attack on this unit here, slowly grinding through um, from the north there. Uh, down the south, uh, I've decided we'll, we'll make something of this area here. We're going to do the attack here. Um, moved up um, Falchion Yoga unit there, and uh, hopefully extricate these guys um, if we can um, by attacking uh, the town there with a bit more strength. Um, we haven't uh, we haven't quite got the distance. Although I could, yeah, no, I don't want to move him up. I've quite got the distance to get the shift, but um, on the that artillery, um, yeah, and uh, that's that's kind of about it. I don't think there's any reason to start to um, to fight for this area anymore. Uh, just get behind the canal, and then maybe concentrate south here, and maybe trying to get in. Uh, we've got the. Uh, 107 Panzer Brigade units have come up here so they can get across over here possibly or maybe try and fight their way across um, with the Falchim at, at that point. Um, not sure this guy's going to be too happy uh, to stay there um, for uh, for next turn um, with the, uh, the Falchim Jaegers outflanking him over here. And... Uh, yeah, wife, uh, uh, sorry, 82nd, fairly quiet, uh, just moved up really. So uh, we're just going to threaten for next turn when the artillery arrives. Uh, over in Arnhem, uh, some shuffling, bringing the tanks on and um, uh, getting two, ta two attacks in here, neither of the city hex. Uh, looked at the attack here and um, it has a defence of, well, kind of a lot. 18 um, so it's difficult to get a one-to-one -one onto it um, with the troops that are there at the moment so I think we need to uh, get rid of uh, a few other uh, hexes of uh, the airborne um, yeah but uh, certainly uh, uh, we can do those two attacks as that's not an attack um, so I'll do these attacks and uh, and go through them Combat's completed. Um, we had a four to one here in uh, Nuenen, and uh, that resulted with a five and a D one. So the breakdown unit is removed. Um, and uh, these guys advance into the town. Um, up north here, here around Snowdenroda. Um, we had a three to one, including artillery. We got a six, which is a D, uh, a D one. Um, so the unit, uh, is that correct? Three to one on a six. Yes, yeah, a D one. So uh, the unit was flipped and withdrawn. I could have tried for a determined defence, but if I actually got a determined defence, it was very much likely that I'd lose a step while doing it and so I didn't think it was uh, strictly uh, a good idea there. Um, okay and over in First Airborne so we had um, uh, a pretty decent fight here actually so uh, in Oosterbake here uh, we had a uh, 4 to 1 which was including the tank shift uh, only rolled a 2 though so a DR and as part of the DR, there was a determined defence, uh, which a three was rolled, which with the plus one allowed the unit to not retreat, but it did lose a step doing it. So that's what's happened here. Over here, uh, a real punch up. We had a three to one here uh, with tank and artillery shifts. Um, well, let's move so it's easily, ooh, it's easily in view um, here. Um, so as I said, um, a three to one, uh, including a tank and artillery shift and uh, <clears throat> yeah we got an exchange there um, which meant that uh, 
the paratroop unit was reduced to remnant. However, of course, because the opposition gets to choose, um, that was the best for the Germans. It, uh, it dropped two points off the defence. Um, but what it did do was um, it allowed uh, uh, the British to kill off those new Stug units coming in. So they didn't last long uh, and uh, they're now out of the game. So uh, some some fairly fierce fighting going on here and uh, you know quite uh, a grind uh, happening. So that was the uh, combat phase. Um, on our recovery phase we've got some disruptions to deal with, um, mainly uh, over here. Uh, actually not that many because uh, there was a lot of eliminated units last turn so only this one to deal with on disruption and um, I think there was an engage somewhere which we had to deal with. Um, no, possibly not. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's our recovery phase. Uh, supply phase, um, interestingly, um, are we looking at anything cut off? So uh, these guys kind of back in supply now, um, so they're okay. Um, yeah, I still don't think they've got particular problems on the German side, really. Um, no, I think I think we're okay with the supply phase. And finally, the good old uh, traffic uh, marker phase. So we have two to put down, and uh, the front's moved quite a bit here. So um, I think uh, possibly um, halting um the advance here although it's not going to do very much of an effect here i think a traffic marker there covers the two roads although this is the uh the important one at the moment i think the other one uh possibly down here um to uh make sure that the exploitation down here isn't that good either so those are the two placements and then we roll our two dice to see the marker removal. Well, we got a double six. Now, a double means that there's only one number you've rolled, so therefore you only remove the six marker. So we'll have five available as traffic markers on the board. That's number six there, which is a, probably an unimportant one anymore, so that's uh, nicely uh, nicely picked by the dice. Um, so, right, you, uh, you just about got that turn done. So, uh, where are we? Well, we're through and uh, Eindhoven with the uh, with 30 core, finally. It's taken quite a bit of a battering getting through that, though. There's a, quite a few flipped units, especially on the tank side. Um, 101st is kind of hanging on. Could really do with some reinforcement, but not today. Uh, 82nd is uh, um, the incredibly shrinking airborne division, I think. Uh, it's slowly pulling back. Um, as in, uh, as is the first airborne, but um, it's hard work for the uh, for the SS um, to get anywhere here. It's uh, it's it's pretty bloody fighting. So uh, roll on uh, next turn, which is um, yeah, more German reinforcements. Uh, no Allied reinforcements because of overcast, and there isn't any land reinforcements either, and. Um, the uh, entry areas uh, around 30 core are now turn into allied, so that'll free up a few units um, over here. Uh, if I show you, um, so this air entry area now becomes British controlled, as does that one. So this cordon can now disperse and move up and be more useful, uh, and so can the uh, third division units as well. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, it's getting quite uh, quite tense now, I think. Um, we are actually over halfway to uh, so turn 11 is the end turn. Um, and uh, well, gratifying if you've um, stuck through this long. Um, hopefully, uh, it's been enjoyable. And I shall see you for turn 7. That's uh, the afternoon turn of September the 19th. 
Uh, thank you for watching.